Hello, here we go again. As I mentioned in the last video regarding the Audi A6 project, in this vlog I will be working on the new custom radiator grill of the front bumper. Since it is a time-consuming job, the front bumper build will be divided in a few clips, as I already said it before. But how many parts it will have, I still don't know, as for the moment speaking. It will depend on how much time I can dedicate to this project from my weekend hours that I have left over, between family and other tasks around the house, as during the week there is less to none free time for such work. Following up, there comes the time needed for editing and publishing this work in progress. What can I say? Just stay tuned for the coming videos. I started to take apart the original front grill. First step was to remove the chrome trim from the grill and to prepare this one for the custom black paint. From here on, I pushed to sand it as much as possible with the machine. I encountered some problems on the other chrome trim that I have already blacked out on the car. If you didn't see that video, you can look it up on my channel. Some of the black paint did peel off and it came off completely with the primer. As the chrome was clean and clear, just like it was from the sanding before, I think that the primer did not stick to the trim, as it wasn't sanded as much as it had to be. I didn't sand it rough enough maybe, so for chrome parts I'm going full on from now on. I'm using some P400 sandpaper or even lower, as much as a P320 sandpaper, so that this time the primer will bond on the chrome trim for sure. It is not hard to do, but it just takes time. The clip is edited and played on fast forward, otherwise it would be very boring to watch it as a raw material. While sanding, I have time to think of the next moves I have to do for the next parts that I have to work on. I have something in mind with this radiator grill and hopefully I will manage to create it as it is. We will see. There are a few steps from this prepare and repair which I didn't manage to get recorded. It was like putting on some filler in a few spots where there are, were some damages also. The chrome trim has taken some hits from stones, from the streets, dents and cracks maybe from the sun throughout its lifetime of use. So these imperfections need to be repaired and refurbished before I put on the first layer of primer on this part. Step by step it goes further into this build, so I'm sending again but this time by hand and not so rough. Wet sanding is a must in the end and I'm going for it with some P600 grid sandpaper for a smoother finish. This time the primer will need to stick on the stream for good. After this comes the easier part of the job, leaving the dust behind and putting on some color on the chrome tree. Following up the work that was done in preparing the trim for the paint, I washed the part and now I'm degreasing it for any other impurities that would prevent the primer to bond on this sanded chrome. The weather looks just fine, so I can continue with my work. Now I'm moving on with the first layer of primer.
Here we go again with a second layer of primer that is about to get sprayed on this stream now. Moving on, this is the third and last layer of primer that I spray. After some time, maybe about an hour later, I will come back to start putting on the black paint. And here I am back, trying to make this happen, ready to start painting the trim in a glossy black which gives the dark red paint from the Audi a perfect contrast. Layer number two of this glossy black paint is now being sprayed on. Weather just smiles to us, so everything should run smooth today in painting this trim. With the third and final coat of this glossy paint, I'm done with the blacking out of this chrome trim. I'm pretty sure that this time the bond between the primer and the sanded chrome is perfect and that there will be no more paint peeling off from now on, as I have been faced with on some other trim pieces that I worked on. Going on with this project, I will show you in the coming video the process of how I tear down the actual grill and modify to a custom spec or design to say it better. So keep in touch until next time and God bless you.